Welcome to Vienna University on the final day of DrupalCon Vienna 2017. Hello Ryan Aslett from Drupal Association. Hello Greg Anderson from Pantheon. Greg, would you like to tell us about this exciting project you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be here in Vienna. DrupalCon is always an amazing place to just get together and really work on issues. Space-to-face -face is a lot faster than the Skype and the IRC and who even knows which communication mechanism we're going to use to talk to each other. So we've been talking about modules and extensibility. This has been one of the coolest things about Drupal. For years and years, people have loved the fact that they can just download Drupal off of drupal.org, and then they pick and choose the modules they want. And it's really easy to just download them and unpack them, and you're ready to go with a really vibrant site that's targeted exactly for your market. Uh, but now as the PHP world is evolving, we have this new thing called Composer. And Composer is really cool in some respects because as a dependency manager, it allows you to pick software from other places and compose it together in a really powerful way, which helps Drupal get off the island. It's not just all our software in a great big self-maintained ball, but we can leverage things that are done in other parts of the community. But with all of this great power, Composer also brings with it certain challenges. And one of the challenges is that as a dependency manager, it's really important that you let Composer do its job. You have to take all the dependencies and put them together at the same time so that the Composer solver can decide which versions of the software are going to work together. This makes our existing model of just easily downloading modules from drupal.org difficult because sometimes it's difficult for end sites to have the resources to run the Composer solver. So uh, we've been talking about different ways that we might break this open and preserve the same uh, user experience while still enabling the power of Composer. Ryan, um, what kind of things have you been doing on this project to well, make this possible? Um, I, I started at the DA um, working on packages.drupal.org, which enabled Composer to be a tool the community could use with our existing module set. And once I got that in place and people started using it and started to see more and more adoption, that's when I started to realize that there were some users that were being left behind by this, by this new thing. And I was afraid that it created a monster and wanted to go back and see how we could solve this problem so that everybody building a Drupal site had an easy, valuable experience that made it possible for them to build a site. And um, lots of ideas have been flowing around. Uh, it started with some back in DrupalCon Baltimore, and we had sort of a plan, and um, it never really took off. And some of why it didn't really take off, which was a, uh, like a desktop application to manage your Drupal site, we realized we didn't have the skill in the community and the resources to manage something like that. But then when, once we started really looking at the problem, we realized that we already had a solution built into Drupal Core that could allow people to do this, but it had been sort of neglected. And um, once we started assessing the update manager in Core, we realized, oh, this could actually be the avenue by which people have a, uh, a great experience extending, extending Drupal. And part of one of the reasons we feel that the update manager became neglected was because it was a different path from the hardcore developers and the people with complex sites. They never used it and so it never saw any development or features. And so what we decided is that what we really need is some sort of tool in core that both developers could use and the consumers of this update manager would also be built on top of. And so that's where we're you know brainstorming ideas around and we're looking at things like task managers and stuff like that, if we can get one of those in core, that also helps us solve some other problems that, um, that we're seeing in the testing space and in the deployment space and things like that. So um, it's really preliminary now and we're just doing a lot of um, questioning people and asking them what their needs are and making sure that we cover all the use cases and because uh, we don't want to leave anybody behind and we want to make sure that Drupal you know, has the ability to be used where people want to use it. But yeah, and DrupalCon Vienna has been an excellent place to talk about these things, and it's really, really exciting to see some of these issues move forward and become a little more concrete and real. Great.
So Ryan, um, so you've done these interviews with other site builders and other developers. What kind of feedback have you received? Um, I've, I've received a lot of feedback. Uh, like some of them, like I talked to um, uh, my friend Amber from Portland, Oregon. She works for uh, Drupalize Me, a training mm -hmm. group. And you know, one suggestion that she made is, well, if this tool does all these hardcore developer things under the hood, maybe put an interface in that allows the end users to be able to expand that out. So if they're curious and they want to learn, they have the ability to see what it's actually doing, which I thought was a great idea. It's like, oh yeah, build it right into the tool and the way for people to go from, I don't know what this is doing, it's magic, to I can open up the hood and look. And so we've, we've seen things like that. Um, other suggestions um, are, you know, that, that it might be that this, task runner doesn't have the resources to run on the local system, so we may need to provide a service. Uh, and that might be a service that Drupal.org offers next to packages.drupal.org, where we resolve their dependencies for them and give them back out. And uh, yeah, and there's just been you know several other um, things along those lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, Drupal Commerce has recently required Composer to install Drupal Commerce. I've heard that you're working with Boyan Zivanovic from Commerce Guys. What kind of other collaborators do you have and how is that feeding into this project? Um, well, I've been talking with Greg and uh, been talking with, you know, basically anybody who spends a lot of time in the Composer channels in Slack and in IRC and um, been paying a lot of attention to, there's been a lot of threads opening up on Drupal.org that say things like, don't leave us behind mm. and so I've been talking to them uh, via you know email and in the issue queues about well what do you need how can we help you how can we make sure that this does what we need it to do cool what do you think about this Greg I think it's a really exciting opportunity to make uh, Drupal uh, every bit as excellent as it was for the older mechanism as it will be in the future for the new mechanism just really easy for new users and yet powerful enough for developers Great. Really excited time to be involved with Drupal. Cool. So you're currently working on the project plan, and you're you're moving that forward. What are the next steps? Um, I mean, I'd like to think about the project plan as a uh, moonshot pie in the sky. What if it did everything we wanted it to do, and then go from there to pare it down to okay, and then what's the minimum viable? What's the absolute minimum we need to do first? But then at least we have a vision of like, and then the next part was we can keep going there as opposed to building just something to band-aid over what we need you know we actually can have a, a vision but once once the um, project plans in place really I think it boils down to UX and user experience and starting with you know like Dries said in his keynote you know uh, design first and say you know what are the use cases how do I how do I concentrate on how this actually looks and feels and works so that we can solve for what people need as opposed to a bottom-up sort of thing inside of the development space. Excellent. Thank you both for your time. Thank you.